What's going on guys? I hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm just out here working on my kitchen, which is almost done. Very excited about that. And I uh, finally did a bunch of measurements and uh, figured out where everything is going and how I'm gonna lay it out. So I'm about to show you that right now. Today I ran into a little problem um, for my stove. I have this that attaches into the stove and I totally forgot about it, which is okay because I figured it out. So it comes out right here, the, the, the uh, thing. So I just drilled a hole right there. And this is gonna come, it's gonna go right, it can go right through there. And this is gonna stay, that goes in there like that. Then I'm just gonna have this like down here. Then my hose will come off of this. My uh, I have an extra hose that comes off of that. So I just had to cut that little circle. And we good. Now let's get going on the. Uh, I gotta finish this bottom part first before I can start building the shelves. Just so I know, because um, the wheel well sticks out. So I need to know how high I can make the shelves or how far back I can make the shelves. So that's what I'm working on right now. Is that. All right, so I finished up the frame. Uh, I had to add these pieces right here that go over the wheel well. So I'm new uh, test fit it right now and see uh, see how she sits. All right, so that's what it pretty much looks like once the stove and the uh, sink are in. That's a back view of it. So you can still see that I have a little bit of space because I'm about six foot, so my legs are a little bit longer. So I, I wanted something that wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna feel cramped. I'll show you from this. So that's pretty much what the kitchen area is looking like. I like it. Pretty. I have, I have like more than enough room to cook and stuff right here. So this bad boy is going to go right there. Just like that. Then uh, th this is gonna be, that's going to be my water. So it's going to be back a bit. So. Now I'm gonna build a thing that goes underneath the uh, underneath this. Then two things that or just yeah two things that come up. It's like almost like an L bracket, so it'll be up and then cross. And this will sit on it like that. Then I'll have to find out some way to keep it so it doesn't fall out when I'm driving. But right here too, I'm gonna make a little shelf so I can put stuff in there, like a little uh, just like a little opening, I guess, so I can put random things in there. So I'm pretty happy on how it turned out. I like how it comes down to this because I really wanted this thing like this. And it's only coming out two inches, so it's not that bad. Um, yeah, it's pretty sturdy. And uh, I'm going to get back into the shop and cut that so I can start making um, where I want to put the door and stuff like that. All right, so this is what it's pretty much looking like right now. Like I said, it's about 75% done. I still need to do a couple little things, and I'm also waiting on the things I'm going to be uh, putting on the sides, which you'll see in a future video. I don't want to spoil it in this video because uh, I'm really stoked on uh, what I'm going to be doing on the sides. So today I went back to the uh, hardware store because I needed some more 2x2s that I ran out of, and I also picked up this hardboard. Uh, this is half inch I believe no quarter this is quarter inch uh, hardboard and I'm gonna be using it to panel the whole inside of this uh, cabinet so I, I pan or yeah I panel this 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 and I also did this which I'll talk about in a second I want to talk about my sink area for a second here I kind of let you guys know what my um, what I'm gonna do with it so pretty much all I'm gonna have is a hose coming from here from the bottom of my sink down into a bigger um, water reservoir then there's going to be a hose coming out of the reservoir with a valve then a hose going out to the ground the reason why i want this is because when i'm stealth camping i don't want water coming straight from the bottom of my sink right into the ground i don't want to bring attention to me and running water out of a vehicle that's parked um, it puts up some red flags so I want to be able to open up the valve and let all the water out whenever I want. 
the water's not uh it's environment friendly water like i'm not going to use any harsh chemicals or anything like that but i just want to uh, stay stealth whenever i'm camping in urban uh, environments so that's going to be there then i'm going to have my two uh, propane canisters right here for my stove uh, i still have to drill a hole for my host to come through that comes up right here then it'll come over there then it'll come out from here then go right there this right here is going to be another open face cabinet uh, kind of like a sliding cabinet um, it's going to be from here all the way out to here it's going to have an angled cut then i can slide in uh, peanut butter canned goods uh, stuff like that but there is going to be hardboard right here so it's not going to be super big it's probably going to be like six by a foot high which will still hold a decent amount of stuff and also right here so that this one there'll be a board coming up to here uh, so this is all one level then this will be kind of like a second level with uh, a little bit of storage not too much though right here is going to be another storage um, i don't know what i want to do with this yet i'm pretty much thinking that i'm going to have uh, this is going to be all full like i'm going to bring this across then down then have a open um, a door that opens this way because my bed's going to be right here so i want something to open that way so it doesn't hit it then all in here from these two posts is going to be all storage um, i can stack stuff in there and i'm gonna have hardboard in there too so um, i want it really neat so yeah pretty much right there it goes down then have a little door open and have kind of storage under here this right here is going to be my main drawer for food it's going to be the easiest accessible drawer that i use so i made this today it's about 14 inches by 22. Um, it's it's pretty big it's going to hold enough food uh, for me for one person like i'm going alone for a while so that's pretty much that right there then i have enough room right here to put a half inch piece of plywood with a handle on it so i can open it i didn't put these on rollers uh, because i don't want it to roll out when i'm driving i fear that it might roll out if i have it on rollers i know they lock but if i turn a corner sharp or something i don't want it to kind of bump up and roll out and it just come smacking out so i just have it on wood right now um, it's, it's actually pretty stiff right now i know after a while it'll work in a little bit but once I have food in it, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So I'm going to have to put hardboard inside a little bit right here. So I'm going to put a piece right here, right there, and just one across the back so stuff can't fall out either way. But that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, like I just got to cut a couple more pieces and wait for the stuff for the sides. Um, but that'll be in the next video. I want to keep uh, some stuff a surprise, so when I like, uh, kind of do like a full van tour, uh, you guys will see stuff that you don't see in these little videos, which there is uh, some stuff already that you, I haven't shown. So um, yeah, hope to, I hope you liked today's video. Um, give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. But until next time, take it easy, guys.